Hey Leo, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to have a look at what's going on in your love life, placements, and if you need a personal reading, do reach out and I'll help you out with that. Okay, so all that information is going to be down in the description box below in case you need a personal reading. Right. Your person right now is fearing a lot of rejection. Okay. They fear a lot of rejection here. This person has probably friends owned you all this while or this person, yes, they didn't want a reconciliation with you or every time they would come back with you, right? There are chances that this person was not really literally offering you what you wanted all this while. Um, just one second. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that this person definitely was someone here who had a good time with you, they like your companionship, etc. But when it comes to offering you something stable, something committed, or probably even a commitment or marriage, right? That's when they would cop out. I'm seeing you as someone who's heavily invested into this energy all this while. You've been very nurturing, very caring. And because of you, this relationship was being able to grow. Now that this person out here has broken your heart, this person has not given you the love and the attention that you deserve, you completely pull back your energy. You're no longer focused on this person, no longer investing into this person. You just feel this person was probably a waste of time or a bad investment is what I'd say. Uh, I feel this person out here wants to give you a love offer, probably could be an apology, probably even wants to start over all over again, all right? But this person is not sure if they could give you an offer that good that wouldn't be rejected or they just fear rejection they just probably are in that negative pessimistic mode right now where they're just constantly focused on why it didn't work out rather than focusing on giving you that uh, offer where they could try and make this relationship work out out here okay but right now they are not in the right state of mind to make an offer to you although the opportunity is that is still there if they want to make it work out yeah see you've been so stuck tied bound and restricted to this connection out here okay you just feel that you can never ever get out of this connection or you could just never get out of your head i feel you had a hard time trusting your intuition you had like a blindfold around you okay where you feel like you know what something is it's like you know how you feel caged right you just feel like this is what it is this is the best of the relationship you can ever have and this is where you're always going to be stuck i'd say you were probably even stuck on this person and you weren't being able to move on from them now you're finally releasing yourself out getting unstuck and releasing yourself from this connection which uh, gave you so much of trauma mental stress emotional stress whatever that may okay you are finally um, getting out of your head and i feel you have like the splash of cold water on your face from the universe like yeah you can do it it's not that tough wow <laughs> this person is just getting worse day by day I feel bad for this person. They're, it's getting worse day by day from the four of cups to the five of cups here. I feel this person is, yes, they are coming towards you. They are moving slowly towards their happiness. But I feel it's like this, they, you know, the universe is actually making them do it the right way is what I'd say, you know. So first they're in this mode of where they're all stagnated and, you know, like things are just not moving forward between you guys. Then they're getting into that phase where, you know what, like they want to make you an offer here, you know, but they're still crying over spilt milk, constantly focusing on the past, constantly thinking about why it didn't work out. You know, I'm getting a lot of could have, would have, should have, you know. But with the five of cups here, I feel this person could be relating this relationship to the relationship in the past. Okay, because of which it, keep, it keeps pulling them back. Like why they can't make it work out. I feel this person out here is lacking the willingness to move forward or lacking the willingness you know you know i feel that for them it's like you know what it's over and done with nothing can happen this is something that has been destroyed and it can never ever be repaired that's the kind of feeling that this person has right now yeah this person you've given them a multiple chances is also what i'd say okay and now it's like i'm not gonna be a fool again is what you're saying you've done this with them over and over and over again and you don't want to take this risk again okay because you feel that you make a mistake once it's you know, like, all right, the second time you do it, it's a choice, is what I'd say. Something like that, you know what I'm saying, right? You do it once, you do it twice, and the third time you do it, it's more like it's a choice. It's not something that you're doing um, uh, out of uh, compulsion, okay? So that's what's happening here. You probably feel that this person is making a choice to make you feel this way, okay? I'm making a choice to keep this connection stuck in a certain place and you're like you know what this time there is a new beginning here you can have a new beginning with them but you're not very sure about whether you want to take a leap of faith with them or not 
Okay. The Volume Divorce can also tell me that you're still not ready to move on from this person completely and start a brand new chapter in your life. It can be both ways out here. Hierophant. You're changing them, Leo. You're changing them. You're changing this person. Could be someone here who you and this person had very, very uh, different uh, traditions, different belief systems, okay? You were committal, they were non-committal. You wanted something traditional, they wanted something, whatever, non-traditional, live-in, whatever have you. If you had had a live-in with them or if you were in a non-committed relationship with them, then this wouldn't have happened to them. Okay, this wouldn't have happened with you. But because you chose to uh, stick by your guns, you chose to stick by what you really thought um, is the right thing for you to do. You were committed to what you think was right. That's why there's been a wake up call out here for this person out here that they cannot go along with the way things have been going on all this while out here. But they're changing their belief system. I feel this person is feeling divinely guided towards you and they feel that you are the one for them and um, the universe is pushing them towards you okay which is causing them to change the way they think about marriage or commitment knight of cups okay and the page of pentacles beautiful i feel this person out here is wanting to approach you with some kind of communication here you my friend i feel that you have not been following your heart all this while maybe you were not following your logic all this while now you're following your heart and i feel that when it comes to this person out here there are chances that you are you probably still have emotions for them. That can be one thing. But I'm going to have to clarify. Okay. okay. I feel that there are chances that you're following your heart. You're probably not wanting to move towards this person out here. Could be that there are chances you want to communicate and open up to this person. May not be. I'm getting two scenarios here. I thought there is a new person in your scenario here. Okay. And because you've let this person go, you've opened yourself to new opportunities. So you're manifesting a new person who's coming towards you, wanting to give you a love up for you. Could be a new person. If not, I feel that this is you who's manifesting new opportunities in your life. Okay. You're letting it go, letting it flow, law of attraction. And you are probably following your heart and you're probably opening yourself up to new opportunities. That's what I'm getting here this person out here is definitely wanting to communicate with you this time they want to offer you something stable something tangible but definitely something that holds value out here okay uh the page of pentacles is not like that silly page of cups energy or like a page of swords energy it's or the page of wands energy for example it's more like okay i want to do this uh this person is not the best at handling this opportunity that they have with you that coin right that's a very immature person this person probably is someone you know who gets more attracted to the idea of wanting something rather than the process of it okay so just be a little careful with that let's see what action you're planning to take towards this person two of pentacles in reverse what action does this person plan on taking towards you ace of cups uh, i like it i think you're in two minds all this one sorry wrong english i think you were in two minds all this while you were juggling the entire idea of wanting to be with this person or not okay that back and forth energy out here i feel you're finally dropping this person and you're going to move away from this person more like move forward i don't think you're waiting for this person to come towards you even if they have to come towards you i feel like that energy where now i am decisive i've made up my mind and you are still clearly not who i want whilst this person out here is wanting to come towards you and they definitely want to have a brand new emotional beginning with you if you can if i can yeah they want to have a brand new beginning with you, okay? This is an emotional cycle here. I'm not going to guarantee that this turns out to be something very, very um, uh, stable, secure, and committed, but definitely someone who's ready to open up their emotions and they want to redo the cycle, okay? So they're starting, they want to start from scratch with you, okay? But this time they want to open up about their emotions here. Let's see the outcome. Mm. you're not moving ahead with this person there is a lack of a new beginning here like i said right you're pretty sure you don't want anything to do with them that's why i feel that there is a lack of a new beginning here there is no clarity no success out here maybe this person is someone who's overly confident out here okay someone who has um who's not keeping realistic expectations after doing what they did right they don't have realistic expectations maybe they are very confident enough they can make it happen with you anytime they want here uh but i think they're up for a surprise here with the queen of wands in reverse here i don't think you're going to be interested in this person you're blocking them out more than blocking them i'm just like you know what flat out you're like i'm just not interested or you just don't show any interest in this person's communication or you just don't show any interest in their offer their apology whatever have you uh it's gonna be like a showdown here i, I don't think like um 
I don't think there is going to be any kind of entertaining this opportunity or you had this opportunity but you're just not going to take it up because see I just clearly see you as wanting not to want to take a risk towards them and in fact want to uh, manifest new opportunities or new love in your life who can le- definitely give you what you deserve okay so yeah there is a lack of a new beginning here with this person out here why because you're dropping them you're dropping this person because again you're lacking the motivation um the, the 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 passion you know that 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 mojo it's all dead over and done with okay you don't have that in you to want to make this work out with them anymore okay that's what i have for you please leave your comments below hit the notification bell and i will see you next time bye bye thanks bye bye